Okay, welcome. Um, today we'll be talking about deploying NS Client++ Agent to multiple, machi multiple machines uh, across a Windows domain. Um, in order to, to do this, we're going to make use of SCCM 2007. Um, it's a Microsoft product that allows you to um, push deployments, operating systems, um, has a number of uh, cool features. So, um, so first I'm just going to switch over to our Windows 7 machine. Um, as you can see here, NS Client++ uh, is not yet installed. Um, we'll be pushing, um, pushing the install silently to this machine. So, back to our Windows Server. Uh, we're running 2008 R2 edition. We have SCCM 2007 installed here in our domain. Um, expand this out. First thing um, we need to do is create the package. Um, now, there's a number of ways to do this, but um, the way that um, we have it set up here is we just have the uh, configuration file, which is nsc.ini, and also the MSI installer copied to one directory. Um, the INI file just has the install configurations, um, so this basically points and says allow um, our Nagios box at this address. Um, we have our password defined. Um, you could also set up NRPE. There's a number of other options in this INI file you can configure. Um, we're just going to keep it simple for this video though. Um, so uh, if you don't know how to um, configure this file, what you can do is just do a regular install of NS Client and then copy the INI file and use that to template onto all of the other computers. Um, so we just pulled this from an existing install. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the package. So first we're going to um, expand software distribution. We're going to open packages. We're going to select a new package. We're going to call this NS Clients plus plus uh, agent. This is version 0 0.3.9 and this is an English version. Uh, select next. Now we're going to select the directory where our MSI package is located. Um, it's a local drive in this case. So we need to local drive. Okay. So we're going to go and select that drive. Okay, the default options can be left. Um, we're going to go ahead and just leave these default. I'm going to set this as high just because it's our only deployment. We're going to say next, next. Um, the rest of these are all going to be left as default. And we're finished. So we have our package created. Um, what we want to do is create the program. The program will contain our um, install arguments. Um, so we'll call this uh, MS Client plus plus uh, program. And we're going to be installing the MSI package. So I'm going to pull up the MSI file. And we're going to, since it's a MSI, we'll do um, MSI exec forward slash I for install. And um, SCCM will handle the rest. So we can leave all of these as uh, default. Okay, we'll do next. Here we can specify architecture, um, operating system type, but we'll just leave that as default for now. Um, we're going to do this whether or not the user is logged in, assuming that this is a silent install that you want to have pushed. So we'll select next. Now you'd also want to select suppress program notifications. If this is a sound install for this video, we're not actually going to check that because we want to see what's happening. So we'll just do next, and the rest of these will be default. Okay, so we have our program created. Uh, we're going to set up a distribution point. Um, this is just going to be our SCCM server. Now that that's set up, we're going to set up a t uh, sequence of tasks. Um, the nice thing about task sequencing is you can um, count on one 
task being done um, before the next one begins. Um, so we're going to say task sequence. We're going to define a new task sequence. This one's just going to be a custom sequence. Um, this is our awesome task sequence. I'm sorry, super awesome task sequence. Okay. And there it's created. Now we're going to set up the parameters for this task sequence. So the first sequence we wanted to do is the silent install of the MSI package. Uh, and we're going to select the, the, the package we already created. Um, and hit OK. We'll just do apply since we want to add some more sequences here. So. We're also going to add a uh, command line. Now, what this command line is going gonna, is gonna to do for us is it will copy over the INI file. Um, I set this up ahead of time to save uh, some fumbling around. So there's the command line argument we're going to use. So it's going to invoke command.exe um, to copy INI, the INI file to the proper directory. And we want to define the package and that's because we're just using a local um, file name. So we want to be sure it's running from this package. So uh, we have that set. So that looks good. Um, I suppose we can name it um, something useful here. Um, maybe uh, copy and see. Okay. Um, now we're going to do one more command and that's going to be to start and this client plus plus agent on the remote machine. So we're going to do a run command line. Um, we'll do um, NS client plus plus uh, we'll say start and I'm going to paste in my command I want to run. So this basically will tell this exe to start. Okay. So that all looks good. So we have our task sequence defined. Now the next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll advertise this to a list of computers or a collection of computers or users it could be. Um, but in this case we'll do, um, we'll just say all systems. So I'm going to right click and say advertise task sequence. And let's give it a name. Find sequence. Okay, that looks good. Um, we want it to run immediately, so we'll choose that option. Uh, we'll set this to high, and we want it to download the content before starting the sequence. So, next, 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 and we're done. Okay, so we've successfully set it up to be advertised to our client. So we're going to come back to our client here. And since this is um, has the SCCM agent already installed, we're going to open up Config Manager and we're just going to um, kind of tell this to hurry up and run. So um, that should be initiating our install here. Um, and the next uh, video will show um, how to verify this has run successfully um, and we'll show the configuration on um, the Nagio side. And as you can see, our assigned program has just been assigned to run in five minutes. Um, so we will be back in about five minutes. Thanks.